Um, I think this was some, a moment for us that we I felt like we were really comfortable. I mean, we're 7 and 0, but we haven't really played um, many great teams, but tonight I think we were comfortable and tonight we humbled us. Things that we need we need to work on and get back in the gym with. What did I learn? Well, let's start with what I knew before I had to watch that mess tonight. I knew Southeastern would come in here and play like that. I knew she coaches her butt off. I knew those players, it meant something to play LSU. I grew up in this state, but I only have two in that locker room that understand that are from the state of Louisiana. Okay, so what I saw wasn't a surprise to me. What did I learn when we went up 21? How did we lose that lead? And that's when I'll get in the film room with them and we'll go over things defensively. But when the game gets tight, you have to have five players on that floor that know and can execute a play. And, oh, my gosh, did we get exposed tonight. Two would do it, three wouldn't do it. We'd come out of a timeout. I would draw something up and four would do it and one wouldn't. But, again, that's part of the nine that I have when I say piece it together is our theme. And, I mean, it, it was just very, very obvious tonight. Um, so I'm not surprised at the score. I'm not surprised at how hard they played, how good they coached. Nope. You'll never get me to say I was caught off guard. That's how much respect I have from it. Wait till Sunday. You ever heard of Tulane? Talking about the beginning of the game, Coach, what were you telling your players when you were down 6 to nothing? Um, I can't remember when the first time out was and what the score was. So I don't know that I was telling them anything when it was 6 nothing because the game was still going on. Uh, probably in the first time out, I probably looked at them and said, now do you believe me? Now do you believe me that they're coming in here with everything they have? Something like that. Kim, do you think a game like this is more of a – yeah, a, a teaching a teaching moment, or you worry more that it shows teams how to how to play you. No, listen, I, Southeastern isn't going to teach South Carolina how to play us. <laughs> no, people are going to scout us regardless based upon the talent that they have. Um, we're a work in progress. And I'll say it again, kudos to Southeastern. Give those guys all the headlines. Give them all the credit. Angel, for you, uh, they swarmed you uh, on the post. When the ball would come in, they were really, really, really on you. What did you, what did you learn about having to face that head on, overcome that? And obviously, I could tell as the game went on, you were getting more and more emotional. And is that good for you, or do you need to kind of stay a little more even keel? Um, I think that's something that I needed. Um, I, I get double seen in practice, so I know I need to kick it out to my shooters. And they knock shots down when I kicked it to them. So it was a learning process for us and my teammates. So I'm, I'm good. Kim, did you feel like your team left a little something in the islands? No, I thought they left it on the floor yesterday. It wasn't worth a crap. Mm -hmm. In other words, it wasn't a good practice. Uh, Kim, for you about Jasmine, it, it seems like when things aren't necessarily going well for you guys on the floor, she she seems to maybe have settled into a, a glue type role for this team. W would you agree with that? And and what makes her, uh, I guess, a, a player that you really can rely on in those moments when you kind of need something to, to have? Well, she shoots the three ball, but quite honestly, four for eleven is not good. But we don't want her to stop shooting it because she did hit a couple in critical moments. Um, five for 20, that's not who we are, okay? Five for 20 was caused because of what they did inside. Uh, so if we're going to shoot that many, uh, what, did, what was the Lexus Mars? One for six, what was Flage? Oh for two. So if you're going to shoot that many, you know, you better be ready to, to, to make them. Um, glue. I would say her ability to hit a big perimeter three is a form of glue, but six turnovers is not. 
So, you know, she would battle in there, and she got double-digit um, rebounds, but there were a couple more she had and got tied up, so she didn't get credit for those. Uh, but, yeah, there's a reason the two of them are sitting here because they were the only ones that seemed to could score tonight. And here's the kicker is she had to score with three people hanging on her. So the other one's shots that were being missed had nothing to do with three people hanging on them. And um, we'll go back to work tomorrow, get back in the film room, get back on the court and learn. It's a lot more fun to learn when you win, right? Let's don't forget we did win, but we lost a 21-point lead. Jasmine, uh, you looked like you were having a, a feast or famine night. Uh, was how, how frustrating was it? I mean, you'd make a play and then something bad would happen. Yeah, um, I mean, that comes with the game. Um, you just have to know how to deal with adversity. Everything won't come easy, and you always have to keep a positive mindset and move to the next place. So that was my mindset. When things not going good, um, like I encourage my teammates or, you know, think about what I can do next. So – like Coach said, six turnovers is not good, but, you know, it's on to the next game, and I bet I won't have six turnovers next game. Got time for a couple more questions. Kim, um, Samaya with uh, five blocks and 11 rebounds, uh, body control and, and, and presence in the paint is not always an easy thing for a freshman. Uh, how do you think she played tonight? Samaya is – I didn't play Ladeja, so her role changed. Samaya has been giving us that, that kind of rebounding and block shots. What I need Samaya to do, I need her to finish on offensive boards. I need her to get in there and help Angel when she's doubled and triple team. Position yourself in a way where you can score the ball on miss, misses. As far as being a freshman, I think she has improved tremendously from when we started. I'm more confident in her today than I was a month ago, and that's that's – that's what you want. And uh, she played 36 minutes, so that tells you how comfortable I am with her. We just got to get her better on the offensive end. Final question. Yeah. Kim, what is Ladeja's status? She just didn't play tonight. Not injured? Mm -mm. Unless they heard her sitting on the bench. Did y'all sit on her or step on her ankle or anything? She's okay. She should be ready <laughs> to go, hopefully, in the next game. Thank you.